It's out earlier today, as we were telling you in the newscast, about unacceptable levels of arsenic found in some toddler formula and also some cereal bars as well. Well, Dr. Mehmet Oz is with us live. He broke the big story last year on arsenic and apple juice. All right, Dr. Oz, thank you so much for joining us. Let's start with what parents need to do if they feed their babies with these two formulas, including, I guess I wonder, should their kids even be tested to make sure that their arsenic levels are safe if there is a test like that? Well, Dan, Joanna, you know, it's not a matter of acute arsenic poisoning, so no one's dropping dead today because of arsenic. The fear is that you'll have developmental delays. They won't be as smart as they could be, the children who get too much of this brown rice sugar or syrup. Uh, you might have problems with cancer and heart disease. So they're big issues, but they're longer-term issues. So you don't need to get your blood levels checked. What you do need to do is look in the labels of the formula and the food you're giving your family. If it says brown rice syrup on it, you don't want to give it to them if you can avoid it. Now, listen, if you've got gluten de deficiency or gluten intolerance, a lot of those products have it. It's in a lot of energy drinks. It's in a lot of granola bars. You know, there are all kinds of products that have it, but especially for children, it's a big problem because they're more susceptible to this. And the levels identified by these Dartmouth researchers were so high that, that it concerns me. Well, Dr. Oz, researchers say the formula tested contained six times more arsenic than the EPA considers safe for the water supply. Now, are we expecting the government to establish a threshold for safe amounts of arsenic in rice? Well, I, I know for sure the government's working on this. We've had long discussions with the FDA. There's a bill in Congress right now uh, to push this ahead. But it is infuriating that we don't really have a standard for arsenic levels in this country, even though we know there's a danger to it. So it takes a little bit of gumption. You've got to push hard for what you think is right. You know, it, the food supply has gotten complicated to regulate because so much of it comes from overseas. But the rule should be, if you have more arsenic in your food uh, than you would get drinking a, a glass of water out of the tap, why would I pay money for that? And I, and I think we ought to feel an appropriate indignation and expect the government to step forward and set those levels. Dr. Richard Besser had said earlier that there's less of a concern, he thinks, for those who eat the cereal bars, unless that food is a big part of their diet if they're eating a couple a day. But in your mind, you look for that ingredient no matter what the food is, and if you see it there, brown rice cereal, try to stick it with, stay away from it. Well, again, it's brown rice syrup, and syrup, the reason that's important me. is you're taking rice and it's concentrating the sugar out of it. So rice generally you know, sucks up more arsenic from the soil just by its very nature. So I, I don't want to get everyone off of brown rice. Brown rice has a huge importance to our food supply. I'm particularly worried about brown rice syrup in children. That's mm -hmm. the group I would fall. You know, if you're an adult and you're having a, a bar with some brown rice syrup, that's fine, uh, at least for now to you know, bring the levels down. But for kids, it's an issue today I would start acting on. Why take a chance? You know, who knows what the safe level is? We're not supposed to have any in our body. Uh, you know, we talked about this formula, and I want to name the formulas tested because this was the Babies Only Organic Dairy Toddler Formula and Babies Only Organic Soy Toddler Formula. Is this kind of a new thing that they're making toddler formulas? When my, ki my kids were babies, I know you fed them the infant formulas until they were about one, and then you moved on to milk. Uh, you know, I think that's probably the right thing to do. What, uh, what, you, what you did, what I experienced with our four kids. Uh, but some parents want to have formulas that extend later in life. You know, and the irony of it is we're trying to do something that's better for the kids. And unfortunately, we've actually taken a step backwards in some cases. That's why parents are up in arms about this, because they're paying extra money for what they think is better care. I think kids can transition off formula after six to eight months. They can go to more regular foods. It also adds some versatility to the food supply. And that's probably the biggest message of all from this. If you eat the same thing every day, if they're happens to be something bad in it that hasn't been identified, you aggregate it. If you spread your diet out and eat diverse sources of foods, then at least you spread out the risk. Yeah, good overall message. Always good advice from Dr. Oz. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr.